Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Plant Fanatics. Today we're going to be talking about pruning citrus trees in containers, so stay tuned. So here beside me, we have my seven-year-old lemon tree. And when some of the people saw how I had this thing pruned, no leaves, nothing. First of all, all the leaves fell off on their own, uh, just due to temperature changes. Um, they're supposed to be evergreens, but in the northern planting zones, they don't tend to be like that. Um, so it dropped all of its leaves. And then what I did was pretty much cut off a huge portion of the canopy. This can the canopy of this tree used to go all the way up to the ceiling. And I'll see if I can find any video footage of that. And it was touching the walls and everything in the greenhouse. So what I did, since all the leaves fell off, I took the time to prune the tree to the shape that I wanted it to be, which brings us to our point in this video, which is pruning citrus trees in containers. I want to first break up a myth about pruning that seems to go around, which is that you really have to be careful when you're pruning your tree. That's not true. Um, citrus trees in particular are extremely resilient to pruning. You could make a massive mistake and you know cut off a branch. I mean, I could literally cut this thing to right here. I could just take a saw and chop the whole top of this tree off and it is not gonna kill the tree. The tree is gonna put out buds, even from this thick growth at the bottom here. And uh, it's just gonna start a whole new tree canopy again. And you can see, even with the pruning that I did here, I took off a bunch of the growth and I left just these four main um, foundational branches. And as you can see on, these, on the tree here, you can see all the new buds starting to break out on this. So there was absolutely nothing on this tree, just complete, it was a complete barren wasteland. Now we've got buds coming out all over it, just like I told you guys was gonna happen. You don't have to worry too much when you're pruning your citrus tree. It doesn't matter if you prune your citrus tree in the winter time, it doesn't matter if you prune it in the summertime, in the springtime, it doesn't matter. It's gonna grow back and it's gonna grow back beautifully. You don't have to, the citrus trees are one of the greatest trees to learn how to prune with because of how resilient they are. Um, there's certain types of trees where you don't want to, you know, just make mistakes pruning. Evergreen trees, uh, the conifers, those are not forgiving when you're pruning them. But when it comes to fruit trees, for the most part, um, not just citrus trees, fruit trees in general, they're extremely forgiving. They're going to grow rapidly and you can make a mistake. You can cut off a branch that you didn't want to cut off. You know, you might have looked at the tree, thought the branch should go cut the, the branch off and then you were like, oh gosh, dang it, I just ruined my tree. The shape's not what I wanted it to be. Don't worry, new growth is gonna come out and all you have to do is prune it again the following year. Um, if you come in close here, I wanna show you the bottom of this tree so you can just see how many times I've actually cut branches off. Um, you can see all these little nodules here. That is old, that's old branches that I cut off and the tree just kept going up and up and up and it'll get as big as I let it get. I don't let it get big because I got to carry it inside this greenhouse, out of the greenhouse every year. Um, you can see on the container here, it's a very, it's heavy. Um, we're almost at the point where I need two people to help me do this. So don't be afraid to make mistakes when you're pruning these trees. I'm not going to give you a whole lesson on how to prune or you know in which way you can prune I'll give you advice such as um, this top growth here if you want a bud where if you come in close I can show you here so you see where all these buds are coming out all this new growth all the different directions that it's going when you see these buds and you're cutting the top of this tree off you want to cut it back to a node that is facing the direction you want it to go so if I don't want a bunch of growth going in towards the canopy of the tree, I want to find a bud like this one right here. I cut it here, so I've got one going there, so that's not going into the canopy of the tree, but I could have cut it down to right here and let it come out of that node right there that you see growing. The thing about citrus trees is, is as soon as you take away their apical dominance, which is the furthest point, the highest point of the tree, that's where the tree is going to focus a lot of its growth, as soon as you cut away that apical dominance, you can see how I've made all these branches about the same size. There is no apical dominance in this tree anymore. It will establish new apical dominance when a new branch comes up and reaches the highest point. That becomes the highest point of the tree to where all of the uh, tree's energy is going to go into growing. 
But with a citrus tree, when you take away that apical dominance, you're getting buds that were laying dormant in the rest of the tree that start growing. So like I said, you can see just how many buds are growing here. You cannot make a mistake pruning a citrus tree. The only thing that you could do to, to kill a citrus tree is to do some sort of root damage by overwatering, underwatering. Um, so as long as that soil health, health is nice, you can cut this tree however you want and it's gonna be very forgiving. So I, I'm not gonna sit here and just give a, a lesson, I'll show you how I'm pruning the tree and everything because pruning is in the eyes of the beholder. But if you wanted to keep this thing looking like a bush, what you would do instead of what I just told you, it, which is letting these uh, branches grow out like that, you're gonna wanna keep any of the lower growth, not right here. You can see there's a difference between the bark here and here. This is the graft union. And there's a very clear difference between the types of trees. So you don't want anything growing from below this graft union here because that's gonna be a different type of tree than this. But anything above that graft union, any of that growth, you're gonna to wanna to keep that if you want a bush form. You want those lower limbs to be able to grow out. And you're gonna to wanna to keep it pruned smaller. Um, I don't tend to grow my citrus trees that way. I like to make them a tree. And I did get a lot of people asking me how I gave the tree a tree or how I gave my citrus tree the tree form and not a bush because theirs is growing like a bush. You have to take off that lower growth. That's how you make it become a tree. However, when they're young, you can't force the tree to really look like something that it's not. When they're young, they tend to be a little bit bushy. You've got to let them get a little bit of size to them before you're taking off those bottom branches to make it look like a tree. But you can see right here, it's already kind of looking like a tree. I already took off that, that bottom growth and this is probably a two-year-old tree right here. So they grow pretty rapidly. Um, but like I said, as far as pruning is concerned in your potted citrus tree, don't be afraid to just take off whatever you want to take off. They're going to grow back. Like I said, I could, I could cut this, this thing back all the way down here and there will be buds and it will grow back into a tree. It's going to take time. It's going to set it back a little bit, but not a super long time. Um, so I'm not going to sit here, like I said, and show you guys how I'm pruning this because all you got to do is take some pruning shears and chop the tops off there. There's plenty of videos on that. But I just wanted to put the message out there not to be afraid to make the tree whatever you want. Pruning is, is for you and you alone. Nobody can tell you what shape to make your tree. And the sky is the limit. You know, just because you've got guys on YouTube telling you you want to have an open shape of your tree, you know, you want to make it look like a vase for the health of your tree, it doesn't matter what they say. Grow the tree how you want to grow it. And... I would have to say you're probably not going to have health issues in your tree, especially if you're watching your tree, you take out any diseased limbs. It doesn't seem to be a problem with these uh, citrus trees. They do like to grow a little more on the bushy side. This thing is just going to put out so much growth this year, and I'll continue to show you guys exactly what it will look like. But I just pruned this thing back, and we've already got all this new growth coming out. So just don't worry about it. Have fun when you're pruning your trees. If you guys have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and share it with any of your friends that are growing citrus trees from seed or if they grafted them and they just want to learn about how to make them look like a tree. Um, thanks for watching the video, guys, and stay tuned for more updates on these citrus trees as they grow. Thanks for watching.